How do planets orbit? And are there any specific ways that we can use to describe what's happened when they orbit? We actually have three basic laws called Kepler's Laws of Planetary Motion that help us to describe what's happening when planets orbit the Sun. Johannes Kepler was the astronomer who developed these planetary laws, and he used the data on the planets collected by a fellow astronomer named Tycho Brahe to develop these three planetary laws. Tycho Brahe was a flamboyant, naked-eyed astronomer who had a gold nose to replace his, which he had lost in a rapier duel. Now, Kepler's three laws of planetary motion are the law of orbits, the law of areas, and the law of periods. The law of orbits states that all planets move in elliptical orbits with the sun at one focus. Now, this allows there to be a lot of different sizes of orbits, but all planets orbit in ellipses. Now, let's look at some key pieces of an ellipse. There is also the major axis, which passes through the center of the ellipse and is the longest diameter of the ellipse. It's also called the transverse diameter. The minor axis passes through the center of the ellipse as well and is the shortest diameter. There is also the semi-major axis, which goes from the center of the ellipse to the longest edge, and the semi-minor axis, which goes from the center of the ellipse to the shortest side. There are also two foci, and remember that the sun is always at one focus. Now, when we're talking about orbits and ellipses, there are two other terms that can be helpful. They are the perihelion and the aphelion. The perihelion is when the planet is the closest it ever gets to the sun, and the aphelion is the furthest the planet gets from the sun. Now remember that Kepler's law of orbit states that the sun is always at one focus of the elliptical orbit. Kepler's next law is the law of areas. Kepler's law of areas says that a line connecting the sun and the planet would sweep out equal areas in an equal amount of time. Now let's look at this definition a little more closely. If we have a planet that's close to the sun, it's going to be moving faster and it's going to sweep out a particular area. What Kepler's law of orbit says that that same planet when it's farther away from the sun will be moving slowly and will still sweep out the same amount of area in the same amount of time. Basically what this means is that when planets are closer to the sun, they're moving faster and when planets are further from the sun, they are moving slower. Kepler's third law or the law of period says that the square of the planet period or the time it takes for the planet to orbit the sun is proportional to the cube of the semi-major axis. What this basically means is that the further away a planet is from the sun, the longer it takes to orbit, and the closer a planet is to the sun, the quicker it orbits. This is often written as t squared equals a cubed. Now we can look at this graph and see the planets that are further from the sun, like Neptune, take longer to orbit, than planets which are closer to the Sun, like Mercury. Now we can use Kepler's three laws of planetary motion to describe the orbits of lots of other objects, such as comets, moons, or even binary stars, where we have one star orbiting a second star. And these three laws, the law of orbits, the law of areas, and the law of periods, all apply to these situations. 